What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video, today I'm going to be previewing uh, today's game uh, between Arsenal and Wolves, it's a Sunday uh, afternoon kickoff, a half past four kickoff, it's currently just gone three o'clock right now, so I don't have much time to make this video, um, I probably should have made it yesterday, but oh well, uh, I'm making it now, and yeah, uh, last week, it was a bit of a, a weird game last week to be honest, we were three nil down, we look like, oh uh, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, looks like we're just gonna um, accept this 3-0 defeat. And then suddenly out of nowhere, suddenly out of nowhere, we score two penalties. We get two penalties and it's scored them both, and it's back to 3-2. And I honestly think, in the end, if if we had a uh, we had clear one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Lloris and Costa that Costa missed, and we also should have had a penalty as well. Uh, another penalty for a uh, a pullback on um, Bonatini, I do believe it was. Um, so yeah, in, in effect, we should have won 4-3 if we scored uh, both of those. We lost 3-2, and that's three defeats on the bounce now uh, against Watford, Brighton, and now Spurs. Now, coming into this game against Arsenal, um, they have been drawing a few games recently, but that does not... Uh, take away from their brilliant run of form. They're unbeaten still, even though they have been drawing, they're still unbeaten. Uh, let's not forget that uh, at the moment. They're fifth in the league, uh, just behind Spurs, um, who won 1 0 away at Crystal Palace last night. We've had some uh, uh, tough run of fixtures recently with the game against Spurs last week and now against Arsenal. Well, a tough couple of games against these North London clubs. Luckily, we do, after the international break, come back with uh, yet another Sunday game, but this time uh, at home to Huddersfield after the international break. So that is a nice uh, soother, um, as they're, they're not doing too well in the league at the moment. They're not doing too well. Um, they did they did win on, uh, on Monday night against Fulham, um, and they drew against West Ham. Uh, because, well, and that, that's quite a good result for them since they're not doing too well and West Ham are starting to pick themselves up now. Arsenal, they, they've, and as I said, they've been on a good run of form. Uh, they're unbeaten now. Uh, was it? I, I, I can't remember. Probably in their last like, 14 games now. Um, so still an amazing thing. They, they went on that amazing worrying run of uh, 11 games. Uh, and then, and then they um, they they were winning against Crystal Palace, and then they they threw it away, um, which I'm sure Arsenal fans would not like to be reminded of. If if we do show that character that we did in the second half against Spurs, then I think we will have um, we, we will have hope. Although if it's the other way around and we show um, we show what we did against Spurs in the first half uh, against Arsenal, we could be in for a with him. We could be in for a three-four nil, uh, maybe even a, a, something like a five-one or something. Um, and phew, that's just me being blunt. If we, if we if we play like we did in the first half against Spurs, we'll get whipped. But we might have a chance if if we do play uh, like we did um, in the second half against Spurs, which was with full of character. You know, three 0 down. Most teams would have just given up and just uh, just tried to see the game out, uh, see the game out, and and not let not let any more goals in. But no, our character, we just keep on going right until the final whistle, and that that prevailed. That prevailed on Saturday night. I really did, um, because we managed to get ourselves back into the game. Spurs were starting to make mistakes, um, and obviously uh, the young defender Juan Foyth, who scored against Crystal Palace um, uh, yesterday evening, uh, gave away two penalties and let us back into the game. They're starting to make mistakes, and if we just took uh, our chances, and by the way, that goal as well, if we scored that goal... Um, with uh, with Costa, uh, if we had that penalty, and also if we had, if if we scored scored that, uh, if we 
Um, if, if that uh, chance that Jimenez scored wasn't ruled out, then we would we we actually could have done a lot better than we actually did in the game. We got we could have got more out of the game than we actually did. But yeah, that's football sometimes, and stuff doesn't go your way, and referees and assistants do make mistakes unfortunately that's just how football goes uh, but anyway um, yeah that's my preview of Arsenal against Wolves if you did enjoy make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you tomorrow uh, on a Monday this time with a review of the game I haven't been doing reviews even though I said I will do for the last couple of weeks um, yeah sorry about that but I will, I promise I will do one uh, tomorrow um, uh, on a Monday this time, so I'll definitely have to do one. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with a review of the game.